right now, I want to tell you something very exciting. She just walked into the studio. Tennis legend Rosie Casals. She's here, and she's got a, a big event coming up Sunday, the 22nd. And, uh, wow, it's uh, for Love Love Foundation. Yeah, my foundation, Love and Love Tennis Foundation, and it benefits junior tennis here in the Valley. And uh, it'll be at Indian Ritz. It's the uh, Rosie Casals and Jackie Cooper team tennis. And we have different teams from different clubs and different areas, so it's going to be a lot of fun. They play with the pros, they play with the juniors, and uh, they compete in the morning. Then uh, we have lunch, great barbecue lunch at Indian Ridge. I'll come for lunch. Yeah, look, please do, please do. <laughs> and then we have a silent auction with a lot of great stuff. And uh, raffles with uh, BNP uh, Paribas Open uh, uh, VIP seating. Uh, so, you know, it'll be a lot of fun, a full day of tennis, and the pros and uh, juniors are going to go head-to-head -head uh, in a shootout in the afternoon. Well, that's pretty cool for the juniors to be able to play with a pro. Well, yeah, and yeah. you know what? They're pretty damn good, too. You know, I mean, uh, you know, it's the other way around sometimes, you know. Um, but uh, it, it's great. Uh, the foundation, the Love and Love Tennis Foundation, has been working hard to promote uh, junior tennis throughout. We work with the Boys and Girls Club after school uh, programs to bring tennis to kids that never had a chance to play. Now you're honoring uh, a... a Lorne. Lorne Cool. Uh, Lorne Cool. Uh, she was the coach for Bobby Riggs. Yeah, he was the coach for Bobby Riggs and, and, and actually the Battle of the Sexes. And uh, the movie, he, yeah. Yeah, the movie, he was uh, in it as well and, uh, you know, Coach Steve Carell. He was... And, a, he was he did a great job with Steve Carell oh, in that movie. I think movie. so, too. I mean, Steve did a great job, period. Yeah. I mean, and, and so did Emma Stone, uh, you know, uh, doing Billie Jean King. But, uh, you know, it was fun to watch and great. And uh, so we're going to be honoring him with the Jackie Cooper Award because uh, he was very special um, uh, in, in, in promoting uh, junior tennis. He just did the uh, Easter Bowl uh, in April, and he does the uh, USTA National Hard Courts in San Diego. So he's... Uh, Keen on uh, on junior tennis. Now he's not the actor Jackie Cooper. He's <laughs> no. the tennis player Jackie Cooper. Right, 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 right. I mean, he was uh, you know a great uh, friend uh, to many of us, and uh, you know just uh, loved kids and you know gave a lot to the tennis community here in the desert. And we wanted to do something to acknowledge him, and so uh, we started this four years ago. The uh, Rosie Casals and Jackie Cooper. Uh, team tennis, and ultimately we ended up uh, establishing the uh, Love and Love Tennis Foundation to help uh, junior tennis. That is fantastic, because, yeah. you know, um, everybody needs a little help sometime, right? Absolutely. God, and, I know uh, I need plenty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. um, but the Love Love Foundation uh, has stepped up to help the kids get involved in tennis, and uh, kind of like golf quite a few years ago, it's the same thing, and you're reaching out to uh, help the sport. Well, exactly, and you know we need uh, we've got a great uh, weather, a great a lot of tennis courts here, and we just need to have more kids playing. Uh, you know, it's been a wonderful um, uh, game for me and given me a great life and many many opportunities to travel. So you know, it's kind of getting them out of the environment. You, know, you did pretty good in tennis. <laughs> yeah, I had a great <laughs> career. I cannot complain. Um, you know, I'm still involved in tennis. I love tennis, and uh, Tori Fritz, who's my partner in crime, uh, you know, she was also a tour player and uh, one of the pioneers and always taught tennis here in the Coachella Valley. So, uh, you know, we're all excited about this. Charlie Passerell, uh, he was the first uh, honoree of the Jackie Cooper Award last year with D.D. Village, all involved in giving something back to the sport. You know, I'm just, a, I'm going to change subjects just for a second. Um, you were involved in groundbreaking women's professional tennis. That's true. And um, you had to do all these things that this young organization fighting the male hierarchy had to think about and perform and do. But then you also had to go out and put on a great show playing tennis to draw yeah. crowds. Yeah, we had to do it all. I mean, you know, back in the 70s, uh, you know, we established uh, the Virginia Slims uh, Professional Tour, first professional tour ever for women's tennis. And, uh, you know, we fought for equality. We were one of the pioneers, the original nine who stood uh, firm and, and fought uh, against the old estab establishment. And so, uh, you know, we established the WTA in 1973 from 
from that, uh, 1972, Title IX, giving opportunities to women, scholarships, schools, everything. So, yeah, it was a, it was an exciting time because we were young. We didn't know what was going on. But uh, in the long run, we made the right decisions for women's tennis. You did. And uh, for women in other fields also, you opened that door and uh, made it right or yeah. began to make it right. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, and there's a lot to do. I mean, we're seeing it now. And when the Battle of the Sexes came out, we realized that, you know, women get paid 70 cents to uh, the dollar. And, and, and so there's a lot of work to be done in, in all areas of, of, uh, of women's uh, and, and the business and the film. You know, we're seeing more and more of that coming out now. I wanted to make our listeners aware of the history of Rosie Casals and Billie Jean King, these people really stood on the front lines. They didn't know what was going to happen. They weren't following a lead. They were creating the lead. And, uh, and then going out and uh, showing the world that women's tennis uh, was just as competitive and uh, just as good as men's. Absolutely. We were entertainment, and that's what we sold ourselves. You know, it's like, uh, um, you know, you have Elton John comes out for 45 minutes. You have uh, uh, another band plays for an hour and a half, and they don't care. They want to see Elton John for 45 minutes. So, yeah. you know, if we played two out of three sets, maybe an hour and a half, and the men played three out of five sets, and it was a boring match, I mean, you'd rather see good tennis than a boring match. So yeah, the, you know. the women had, um, and this is uh, not one way or another, but... Yeah, the men is a power, power game. I mean, 100 mile, 110 mile an hour serves and stuff like this. The women's game is volleys. You guys got yourselves running back and forth across the court. And, and that made it exciting when you had to dive to flip one back over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had more rallies because uh, obviously, you know, the power uh, game uh, is now uh, for the women as well as the men. But back then you had more finesse and you relied more on your noggin and thinking about how we're going to outsmart this uh, uh, opponent. So, you know, the game's changed a lot. And so, you know, uh, but it was a fun, fun time. Now, just... <laughs> Your stature, you're, sh you're on the short side. Okay. <laughs> short and wide now. <laughs> but the, the new women's tennis players, they all seem to be about 6'3". Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, uh, look, they have a better nutrition, better training, better everything, and every generation is just better. You but know? you had more fun. <laughs> I, I think we did. I think, uh, you know, to be in, in the groundbreaking, uh, you know, definitely... A lot of fun. You set the standard, that's for sure. Rosie Casals is here with me today. I'm Jeff Wolf, 107.3 Mod FM. We're talking about a, a tennis a pro am, team tennis pro am coming up Sunday, the 22nd, Indian Ridge Country Club, and it's to benefit the uh, Love and Love Tennis Foundation and Junior Tennis in the Coachella Valley. So those are great causes. They are. So you know, come on out, come and watch some good tennis. There's lunch. Uh, you know, and, and you can donate uh, $25 for lunch, and you can donate some more money <laughs> if you want, because we need lots of it. But anyway, you know, it's going to be a fun day. Uh, what time does it start? It starts, the program starts at 10, and the uh, shootout, um, the program in the afternoon starts about 12.45, 12.30. Sounds like a good day if you're a, a tennis fan, or even if you're not, you want to get uh, kind of more knowledge about what is happening tennis-wise. So when you watch it on TV, you'll know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to give them a number of 760-772-9411. And again, 760-772-9411. If you want to ask any questions or uh, play in the Pro-Am, let me know. I'll be there. I'd play in the Pro-Am, but um, there's, a, there's a Pro-Am. Uh, I'm an Am minus. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We take them all. All levels welcome. And uh, also, this uh, uh, Lorne Kuehl. Kuehl. Yeah. Uh, she's going to... Uh, he. I'm sorry. That's okay. He doesn't uh, mind wearing a skirt every once in a while. Once in a while, he comes out <laughs> in the white skirt. You know, now, when you guys first started, uh, white was all you could wear. That was all we could wear. Yes. And um, it was your... Well, you know, especially at Wimbledon and, and all the old, yeah. you know country clubs that we used to play in. And as we started the Virginia Slims, we started some some wonderful colors and some fashion by Ted Tingling. So, you know, uh, we... That was another groundbreaking move absolutely, for you guys. Absolutely. Uh, adding color and, and fashion. Absolutely. And uh, just uh, making everybody go and kind of go, wow. Yeah. And that's uh, 
why we all buy I mean, color TVs. Well, they, 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 they think they have passion now, but I see the same outfit we, every day. <laughs> for a whole week, we see the same outfit. I want to say, gosh, you got Adidas, you got Nike, you got all those that can make you different, you know, colors. And out. why don't we wear different colors? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Anyway, today. But it, it did. <laughs> um, and it, it, it really did take another step up, though. It was a, a fan move. Because the fans enjoyed seeing yeah, the colors absolutely. and the outfits. Um, so, now, again, Sunday, April 22nd, starts at 10. Uh -huh, the program oh, starts at 10. Uh, okay. Indian Ridge Country Club, come on out. Lunch starts at 11.30, and uh, our program starts at 12.30. And this is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, educational, too. Now, I was going to mention one other thing. Jackie uh, Cooper. Cooper, now, is... He was a former son-in-law to John Wayne? No, that was Lorne. No. Lorne. Uh, Lorne. 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 Well, you know. <laughs> it's close, though. It's close because they're really they're all family. great friends. And unfortunately, Jackie Cooper passed away in 2013 of oh. cancer. So, you know, he's no longer with us, but he is with us in mind and spirit. But I just thought it was cool. John Wayne, a son-in-law, so it was uh, Lorne. Cool. cool. And... Uh, his daughter, I found out, is going to be performing at the... Stage Cup. Well, I can't say that. The California's oh. largest country music <laughs> festival. Yeah. Um, and what's the name of her band? Uh, something in June. Runaway yeah. June. Huh? Runaway June. Runaway June, yeah. She, so, I, I mean, you know, I heard her. She's great. She was uh, nominated uh, at the uh, American... Uh, oh, Country yeah, Music Awards? Yeah, Country cool. Music Awards, just in Las Vegas. So, well, if yeah. you have tickets to go to that show that we're talking about, the country show, um, watch for this band. Yeah, go check them out, and you'll know that's a local connection for you. So, Rosie, I want to say thank you for uh, making it over here. I know you had to scurry to make it. I, had, I mean, I got up in plenty of time, but <laughs> somehow we missed the connection. But that's I'm right. here. Thank You're you. Here. Thank you for having me. So, thank you for coming by. Uh, Rosie Casals, everybody. She is a legend in women's tennis. And, uh, wow, you should go over to the Indian Ridge uh, Country Club Sunday and meet her. She's going to be there. And say hi to Rosie Casals, and you'll be uh, meeting a legend, a living legend, too, yeah, which is even good, better. That's the good part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rosie, thanks for coming Thank by. You. We'll see you Sunday. And uh, I know everything's going to go great for you and benefit the kids and the Love Love Foundation. I'm Jeff Wolf, 107.3 Mod FM. We'll be right back with more of your favorite music.